Good morning and happy Saturday to all of you out there. James here from the Dragon Blogger team, of course. Guys, we've got a nice little show here today. A few products that we're going to show you guys and have some fun with. So, we're going to let people populate in, roll on in, and all of that other stuff. Costly, what's up, what's up, Costly? Bear with me, guys. I... My camera looks dark today. Is it just me or do I actually look dark today? Uh, yeah, happy pre-Easter. Definitely happy pre-Easter, guys. I'm trying to figure out why I look so dark in the picture. I couldn't figure it out before stream. It's like none of my settings were changed. The lighting's not... I don't know. I'm, I'm confused why I look so dark in this picture. And why there's so much shadow. Oh, yeah, thank you, thank you. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you were here at the beginning of the week. Um, I had a misfortunate accident when washing my clothes last weekend. Uh, since I live in an apartment building, we have to share all the washers and dryers with other people. Somebody washed, I don't know if it was greasy clothes or what in that washer that my clothes went into. It destroyed uh, four or so of my work shirts, so I'm down to only a couple, so this is what I had to wear today, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, hopefully I don't get yelled at. Uh, if you're watching in, boss man, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, here it's not considered not... I'm not sure what you mean by that. Pauline, hello, hello. Yeah, so my stuff, my stuff. Oh shit, sure. yeah. So hey, you know, I agree with that. Um, but since I live in a very large apartment building, you know, unfortunately, I have to do what I have to do. Uh, usually, we don't have problems. I don't know what it was. Like, there were grease spots everywhere, and I don't understand. It was a washer, so this is what it is. I'll live. I learn. I move on. It's all, all, all it is. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about it. Hey, whatever. Whatever. Uh, anybody have big plans for tomorrow? I'm uh, do, do, making sure I am showing this live for everybody. Hike in the forest. Right on. That actually doesn't sound too bad. All right, guys. We're going to swap over. We're going to show you guys this first product. Uh, and even that looks dark to me, and I'm not sure why that looks really dark. What is going on with my software? Everything looks dark. Uh, see, sure. yeah, there you go. There you go. Um, I'm told we have to cook ham. I wanted brisket. I'm not allowed to have brisket. So, guys, we're going to talk about this. This is from Ixa. This is their Finrare S gaming headset. The Fringware S Gaming Headset does have 50 millimeter drivers, guys. Nice thick pads, uh, thick banding, uh, fully adjustable, and does have a microphone. Now, this is actually a noise canceling microphone, which is actually very cool. Yeah, brisket is yummy, yummy. I want brisket so bad. <laughs> Got a sixty dollar brisket in my in my in my freezer. I want to use at some point. Should have cooked it while it's fresh, but I didn't. Now, with this, guys, this is immersive for gaming, guys, with the 50mm drivers. Uh, the very clear microphone. Uh, it does have a mute key on the side, guys. It does have volume controls. The microphone does move around. Now, some other cool things about this is, guys, is it does have lighting. It does light up green on the side. There are three versions, though. So you do have the black and green. You have the black, and then you have the blue version. I had the black and green, just so you guys know with that, guys. So just bear with that. Now, they tell you you could probably do a bin test. I'm going to tell you don't do it. But, of course, I do it anyways. You know, it's one of those things. 
uh, as you see me fighting the bag off. Now, it is a plug style, so it does have the 3.5s to plug in. It does come with the adapter to split it over to two-wire style, uh, two-pole or three-pole. I can't remember what it is uh, off this one off the top of my head. But it does come with the single to dual, so you can actually use it in, like, your phones, your PCs, your uh, PlayStations, or connect it up to your actual desktops. Uh, desktops usually have two plugs, one for your microphone, one for your uh, your actual headset itself. Now, right here, you're going to see this big bundle of cables, and that's because it has multiple cables, because it does light up. I mean, what? Yeah, it really does light up. Uh, as you can see, I'm just sitting here. There it is, the dual plugs, green and pink. I just got to remember which one goes where, and you're golden. It does have a little picture, but it is a Y splitter. I like that they added the Y splitter. Now, the USB technically is only there to light up this headset. It's all that USB is there for. That USB just literally only lights up this headset. So remember that, guys. That's all it really does. There you guys go. You can start seeing that greenish over there on the side. Uh, beautifully done headset. Looks very, very beautiful. Works very, very nice. Uh, well-rounded, very, very well-rounded. Uh, Ixa has some phenomenal headsets that I have not been disappointed with yet. Now, as you see, the microphone is fully flexible and bendable. And Darthwing, what's up, buddy? So it is fully uh, flexible and bendable, so you can position it to how you like. Uh, but it also does swivel up and out of the way if you want that done, too. So you can swivel it up and out of the way. Uh, there you guys go. I'm starting to flex it. You can see the green on the inside. Nice thick earmuffs with that pleatherette padding uh, and all of that other cool stuff. Hey, look. He's acting like a fool. Let's jump forward while we're actually doing a mic test now, for you guys. I'm going to plug these in. We're going to show you guys the color issue and we're going to show you guys what the mic sounds like. You guys, give me a second. Let me plug these in and show you guys. Okay, now that I have them plugged in, you guys There's your mic test. from the Ixa 7000 Fenrir. Uh, headset. The microphone is what you're hearing. And you guys see if I move it closer, it will start peaking a little better. Move it away, it'll sound a little farther away. But with it being bendable, you can set it to the perfect section. Now, you guys, of course, you're probably hearing me moving around a little. Now, you're probably wondering what it looks like with the LEDs. So let's take a look. You guys see them on my head. It's a nice green pattern, but I'm pulling them off. I'll let you guys see them right there. As you guys can see. That is a nice coloration. I love the green eyes and the green pop. Now, as you guys see, they really do pop. The coloration is beautiful, but the microphone works really, really well. Now, the one thing you're not going to notice is, is I actually had an air cleaner going on in the background. I believe the AC was plugged in, or at least the fan was. Uh, so you didn't hear it. The noise canceling works well. Now, the sound quality, if you're listening to music, the sound quality is decent. It actually really is a decent headset for the sound quality. Uh, gaming, it's really, really decent. Um, like, when you're playing, like, Red Dead, you actually hear the hoof footprints. Or, let's say you're out hunting uh, for the little animals that you're doing. You can hear those in this game. That's really cool. Um, if you're playing, let's say, um, first-person shooters and stuff like that, you hear what you should hear, like uh, the whizzing up past you and, uh, and stuff. You'll hear people walking up on you, which is what you want in those types of games. This is a good headset. It's actually really, really decently priced headset that works phenomenally well. And at like $39.99, that's actually a crazy deal, or $33.99 today. That's actually a good deal for a headset that actually of this quality. Uh, if you guys need Ixa, Ixa guys. Now, I believe the next one is the H6 from Ixa. I believe this is a Bluetooth and wireless headset, guys, which it is. Hey, I didn't do this one. It's a Nikita video. Noise canceling wireless headset with a PC adapter. So I have my work computer here that I use um, to work from home, and we're not allowed to connect. Uh, devices via Bluetooth, so uh, my solution was to get a USB dongle um, wireless headset rather than a Bluetooth wireless headset. Uh, I mean, you can, you do have the option to connect it that way, but <clears throat> this one is just easier for me. I'm just kind of showing you that 
how easy it is. It's already setting up the adapter. It's really just plug and play. While that driver is installing, I'm just going to show you some really, it comes with this really nice carrying case. This is like one of the softest carrying yeah, those cases, cases. ever used for a headset. It also comes with a USB-A to USB-C charger for the actual device itself because I didn't it have that. take and hold a charge. And as you can see right here, it's got a couple of buttons. Um, one is like a pause play and then a increase and decrease. And then there's also your mic button up here, or I mean your power button rather up here um, to turn it on. <clears throat> right now it's currently dead. I'm going to... Can you guys tell Nikita was sick in this video? So I can show it with some juice on it. <clears throat> but like I said, it takes no time to install the driver. In fact, I can already see the blue light flashing on the dongle itself ready to pair so what i'm probably going to do is just plug this up see if, it, if i can get it to turn on so yeah it's going to need a little bit to charge so i'm going to let it charge for a little bit and then come back and i'll show you Blacker guys didn't what charge like the headset okay so now that i've let it get a little charge it, i was actually this is the multifunction button that you hold for three seconds it had a charge already for the mute and it explains it in the instructions but you just put it on hold it and wait till it feels connected and it is connected and the sound quality sounds amazing now i'm going to take it in here and kind of show you um some of the windows settings right here so you can see if i go ahead and check the audio device it says um eats a pc adapter and then What's really cool is that I can go into the settings here for my Skype. That's what it did with me. And then go to audio devices. And it will show the Ixa adapter. And you can also see, because I have it on my head right now, you see, um, let me turn it a little bit so you guys can kind of see. So it's it shows the Ixa PC adapter here that I can set as a device. And I'm talking right now, and I'm talking right into the mic, and you can see that it's registering the mic too. So I know that it's working, and it sounds – I've done some tests on the speakers. I can hit this button right here. And the sound quality sounds amazing. Um, it plays the Skype ring just perfectly fine. So I am overall – so with that, guys, you have a nice little Bluetooth headset that can be connected to Bluetooth or with the cable. It does have a 10% clippable uh, keep on there. Now, you do have 30 hours of talk time on a charge with this, uh, 33 feet of range when you use the wireless connection. Now, that's actually cool. 1,800 minutes is about 30 hours of uninterrupted calls or 55 hours of nonstop music with this. Uh, it just takes about an hour and a half to fully charge this device it's actually nicely done with that. Now, some other cool parts is, is it does have the environmental noise canceling technology. So if you want to use it for like conference calls, it is Bluetooth 5.0 with that, which is actually very nicely done. Uh, it does have their built in QCC chip for the connection uh, stab stability. Yeah, that word. I'm just going to stumble on that one for now. Uh, okay, just, just bear with me on that. Now, it is a 40 millimeter driver with this headset, so you do have a 40 millimeter driver with this one, guys. Uh, but still, it's a very well done headset that works phenomenally, phenomenally well. Uh, like I said, guys, Ixa, they are a well rounded uh, headset company that makes well rounded and honestly well budgeted price range. Uh, and that's what you're going to be checking that out for is like your budget price range with that. Honestly, just you're not breaking the bank to have a quality product right there. I believe we have a Eufy product up next. This is a Tater Nate video. This is the Eufy Floodlight Cam 2 Pro. Uh, that does work with the Eufy software. The Eufy software, guys, if you use Eufy products, which is Anchor, uh, the Eufy app is completely 100% free. The software is 100% free. You can connect up those products, use it just like that, and you're on the go, which is actually very, very cool. Now we're going to show you guys this floodlight camera setup that Nate did. Yo, what is going on, guys? Nate with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, because you're always entertained, right? Right? Say it. I'm taking a look at the Eufy Security Floodlight Cam 2 Pro. So I have tested 
numbers of products from Eufy, which like, is made by Anchor. I've said this before products. during my live streams. I've said it on my videos. Anchor makes the best products, and being that Eufy is Anchor, this is one of the best products. So I've tested out the Floodlight Cam 2K. This is the Cam 2 Pro. So this is going to be a beast at keeping your business, your house, really whatever it is, monitored and safe. So there are some key features about this that I want to go ahead and talk about. So you guys can see that right here you are going to have three different LED panels that are fully adjustable. All you have oh. to do is simply just twist this and loosen it, and then you're able to adjust the angle at which these lights are going to shine whenever it detects intruders, whenever it detects people in your driveway, really whatever it is, you can set it all up through the Eufy app. Now the camera here is a true 2K full HD camera with smart lighting. This is going to be weatherproof. This is going to be mountable to your roof. Now one thing I do want to let you guys know, this does have to be hardwired into your house. If we take a look at these wires over here, you can see we have our positive, neutral, and ground. So this does have to have existing running wires to wherever you're going to install it, or you'll have to have possibly an electrician come out to install those power wires so you're able to get this installed. So one of the coolest features about this is this camera is actually going to cover up to 360 degrees. So there's not going to be any blind spots. Hey, Phil. Good morning, buddy. This. this is also Zemo, going to come with the Eufy security app, which has zero hidden fees, no monthly fees or anything like that. So when you get this installed and paired up with your Wi-Fi, all you have to do is come uh, into I'm gonna get the, next the product. Eufy security app, and you're able to remotely monitor this camera from wherever you're at. You're able to also remotely trigger alerts, trigger sounds, ah, really whatever this. you want to do to deter potential invaders, burglars, really whoever's deter. trying to get into your house, or if you just want to deter. monitor your home, maybe you're waiting. Uh, it's definitely to morning. I don't know how this is. Cam Two oh. Pro. This is a beast. It's going to come with every single thing you need to get set up. So you guys can see you have all of your wire nuts right here. You're going to have your grounding screws, your charging cables, anything that you're going to need to mount this is included in this bag oh. here. Like I said before, Eufy just does not miss whenever they make products. So if you guys are looking for a top-of-the-line camera that I honestly think is at a great price point, definitely check this out. But like he says, guys, if you're looking for one of those web, uh, those nice little uh, cameras that have floodlights, that is a really good option for you right there, guys. Uh, works phenomenally, phenomenally well. And the app is so easy to use, it's crazy. But for those gamers out there, maybe you're a mobile gamer or maybe you just want to have a mobile game on the go while you're on vacation, on travel, or maybe you want something for the kids so they can use as a mobile gaming system. Well, GameSurf thought about that with this. This is the X2 Pro. The X2 Pro is literally an Xbox-style gaming controller, but you could use it for other stuff besides Xbox Games Pass. Now, the cool part is, is when you get this little box, it does come with one month free of Xbox Game Pass uh, for you now then you have this nice little carrying case these guys see has their little logo gamester x2 pro has the double zipper and these nicely done handles that say game sir now what i will tell you is this actual one is for the usb-c devices so like your androids uh, but they do make one for the ios also guys so if you need an apple product they do offer that now once you unzip it you'll be greeted with this nice little elastic top elastic top so you can hold your uh, wires plugs and other stuff inside here you have this little velcro strap that holds the controller in but there's this little box the little box just has uh, extendable thumb pads uh, so you can add on to the controller itself uh no it's xbox game pass man game pass uh, so yeah, yeah, it's no longer that it's Xbox game pass. So inside there, you'll be greeted with the controller. Of course, I have it upside down, uh, right there. Now, some cool things about this controller is, is on the back, you do have these two bottom buttons that are M2 and M1. What that does is, is those are memory function buttons where you can actually memorize a certain trick or move and have it memorized to that button. So you have a quick move on hand. Now you do have your triggers these triggers are nice and haptic and feel very 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 well done uh you have the perfect little feedback doesn't take a lot to press it but it does have a nice little click with it now you do have your joysticks your d-pads your other joysticks and your x y a b buttons and then you have this cool little x button if you hit that x button when it's plugged in it will load the xbox game pass for you 
Now, some cool things are on this is these X, Y, A, B buttons are magnetic, can pop off, and can swap out to your own liking. So if I kind of do this, I don't have fingernails, so kind of cut my nails. Bear with me. So you can pop them out just like this, guys. They pop out. There's your A button. If you turn it around, you'll see that there's a little magnet in there. I, uh, hopefully you guys can see that little magnet. And it can be in there and you can swap it out and change it. That's kind of cool. Now your USB port right here is actually movable up to 25 degrees. So you don't have to worry about it breaking when you're pulling the phone off. Now this will fit a big phone. It will actually fit an I, you know, not not an iPhone 14, but uh, why did I say iPhone? It's a it's a it's an app. It's a USB C device. Uh, let's say the ZTE Blade X Max Pro. This is a seven inch screen or almost seven inch screen. This is a big phone. It will fit this device, no problem. No problem whatsoever fitting that big old phone. Uh, Samsung, we have the Samsung S21, guys. The S21 will plug right on into, connect up, and you're good to go. Now, if I do this, let's pull my screen up. Let's hit that. Let's see if it will load. Maybe I don't have Xbox Game Pass on here. Thought I did. Did I take it off? Oh, no, I didn't. All right, got to load up. Oh, man. Anybody know my login info? Anybody? Anybody out there know it? Because I don't. I don't know it. Yeah, <laughs> I wished. I totally forgot it. <laughs> well, well, that's going to be one of these days, I see. All right. Well, I would have logged in, but I don't remember my password. Uh, that tells you how often I log into stuff. Uh, it says, error, errors of your ways. Let's try this one more time. All right, not logging in, guys. It's not happening. Anyways, that's what it looks like when it's on there, guys. It's just nice, a little handheld game gaming system. Uh, I would have showed you guys it playing the game, but I forgot my login info. <laughs> uh, it makes me wonder, am I locked out of my Xbox over there in the corner? <laughs> uh, good little piece, guys. Honestly, this is a good piece. And I mean, literally, it could fit a large, large phone. Uh, I believe that is going to be Samantha over there on Facebook World. If it is Samantha, good morning, good morning. Uh, some days it shows the user's name, some days it doesn't. I'll get it. Now I got to figure out what that what it was. I'm like lost. What was my uh, info? Oh. Uh. Guess it's time for a new password. Uh, Xbox Game Pro. Hey, hey, guys, Game Sir, the X2 Pro. Good controller. They make multiple other styles. They make them for the iPhones and everything else like that. Uh, I would gladly tell her that, Phil, but uh, she's with her dad. Yeah, I figured it was Samantha. I figured. Oh, what do we got next? Now that I'm flailing around like a, like a, like a, why is that? All right, well, I'm going to move over. We're going to grab this, and I can already see that this show has been a little out of whack here. Let's do hey, what's this. what's going on, guys? Nathaniel. Let's do that. We got a Nathaniel video. Nathaniel here. With Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, and today we're going to be taking a look at this Asa Kuki 1080p video. How project. are you doing, Let's Samantha? Let's go ahead and start this video off by just seeing everything that comes in the box. 
right off of the bat, the first thing you're going to notice, the only thing in the box is this. Nice yeah, the little weasel's 21 today. It, and it's pretty nice that you're able to just take all of this on the go. So we'll go ahead and start by opening this up and seeing everything it comes with. First thing you're going to notice inside of this little box is you're going to get this little accessories pack as well as a user manual. So if you do need a user manual to get this thing going, you have that option right there. Continuing on, you are going to get your power cable. It is a nice thick cable, so I think it'll hold up well over time. And they even send you a nice little HDMI cable right here, about six feet. So pretty cool of them to send that HDMI cable. And then you are going to get this remote. And as you guys can see, this remote here has all of the controls that you are going to need. You guys can see on the front that it has a power button, input selector, volume up and down. It has a mute button, a home button, so a ton of stuff on this remote. And then, of course, you are going to get the projector itself. And one of the coolest things about this projector is, as you guys can see right here, it has this removable lens cover, which is really right nice there. that once you're done using this, you can... Now, it doesn't have a removable lens. It has a removable lens cover uh, that you can see right there. Now, the, another cool thing about this is on the side, it actually has a filtration system uh, to keep the dust out. Now, you do have the adjustable screws on the bottom, the adjustable screws on those bottoms right there will allow you to adjust the height and hangability of this. Now, on the side, you also have the keystone and focus adjustability, and right there is that filter I was talking about. That's really cool. I haven't seen any other projector that actually had a filter uh, filtration system to keep the dust out of the inside like this one. Uh, that means that little fan is really, really well done and actually blows a lot of air to help keep it cool. Now, on the back, you do have two USBs, an AV, and a headset, and two HDMI ports, which means you can plug in any console or device you want, like a Fire Stick, uh, Amazon device, to actually play off of this. Now, I will tell you guys, though, this is not what's considered a smart projector. It doesn't have an Android base or any of that, so you don't download uh, apps to it. Not a big deal. You can add a Fire Stick. You can add an Xbox. You can add, a, you know, if you want an Xbox like me that you're logged out of and can't log into, you could do that. Uh, well, uh, breakfast. Yes, I would love breakfast, but I would also love other stuff too. Oh, uh, breakfast. Food, food. Uh, so with this, guys, it is 450 ANSI Luminous. It is a 1080p projector. Uh, it does take a little bit to auto uh, auto correct, like he's doing, showing you guys right there. Uh, but he's also just using a really weird uh, place to do it as well. Now, native 1080p can support 4K products. Let's say, um, let's say your Xbox is in 4K. It's going to downgrade it to 1080p, but it will still support that device does have two 5-watt speakers. It is Bluetooth 5.0, so that means you can mirror your phones to this device as well. Now, it is a bi-directional style, and it does support 2.4 and 5G uh, bandwidth with that. Now, 450 ANSI Luminous means it's about 1,500 lumens. Uh, it's a 12,000 to 1 contrast ratio, if I remember correctly, and does come with a very cool carrying bag. Guys, nice little projector for you. If you're looking for something like that, the Asakuki might be a version for you. Oh, what are we having for breakfast? Is it burritos? Breakfast burrito would be good. Uh, some bacon. No, I don't need bacon. Uh, bacon's overplayed lately. Overplayed with the baby. It does. Breakfast burrito sounds amazing. Oh. What do we got? Uh, we got it. EF Eco Flow. Eco. Eco. I'm thinking hash. Oh, ha hey, I'll take that. I'm down with some hash, buddy. I will take the hash. Now, we're going to show you guys the Eco Flow solar system that Nate did also right here. Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. He says he's a Dragon Blogger and Tech Entertainment. Now, this is a 220 watt bifacial bi foldable solar panel. Uh, connection piece. Now it is IP68, which means it's waterproof and durable for off the grid living. Now what this is used for is the EF Echo Flow uh, devices to help charge those. Now you technically could connect it into a couple other devices out there on the market, uh, which names we won't name right now because we're showing you guys the EcoFlow product. Now this is the 220 watt solar panel. They do make a 110 watt, uh, 160 and a 400 watt panel as well. Now, the material, of course, is a tempered glass, so just remember that 
It is still glass. Even though it's tempered, you can crack and break glass. It can happen, all right? It can just, it can happen. Uh, four panel foldable, so you can fold it out four times. Uh, what's up, renamed? What's up? What's up? What's up, my guy? Now, this does weigh in approximately 20 pounds, so it does weigh a little bit, though. Just remember that. Now, he's showing you guys the little pad, the box, the connector, and, of course, that little power station that he has it plugged into and charging. That's actually really cool. Now, depending on the amount of light, you can get anywhere from 5 to 25 percent of solar energy, depending on the type of surface that you put this on. So if you have this laying flat out in the sun, you're gonna get a good amount of solar charge to this. Now, if you put this on an angle on the side of a house, of course, it may not get as much sun, may not get as much charge. Uh, maybe you have snow coming and the snow's blocking that sunlight. Not gonna get that charge. Uh, cool little piece, guys, if you're looking for a little solar panels, they offer it, they offer it. Now, we're gonna move over to an Anchor product, guys. This is the Anchor Nebula that, now Nate did this yeah, too. I'm super excited to showcase to you yet Man. another awesome projector from Anchor. Hey, right, thanks, buddy, thanks. A look at the Happy pre-Easter, my man. Max. This is an absolute brute whenever it comes. All right, this is the Capsule Max. We don't need to listen to him. We can actually talk, because I've had hands-on time with this too. Uh, this is a 200 ANSI luminous projector. This is a portable projector that can do up to 100 inches. Uh, it has approximately about four hours of playtime off of full charge. It does do 720p uh, resolution. Now, this is an 8-watt speaker built in. It is 360-degree style speaker with that. Now, this is what they call as the Nebula, Nebula, Nebula. Now, the Nebula, of course, has their own UE slash GUI built in, and we'll kind of talk about that with this uh, in a couple minutes. It is Android 8.1. Android 8.1 will allow you to download pretty much any Google Play app uh, to watch anything you want or even play some games with that, so you can do that. Now, I'm going to tell you about up to four hours in battery mode. Uh, if you take it out of battery mode, you'll get around two hours of time usage with it. Uh, not a big deal with that as well, but, you know, just giving you a heads up. Now, we have some other stuff to kind of talk about with this. You have the, I believe it's the 30,000 hours of lamp life, if I remember correctly on this one. So that's about four hours a day for the next 10 years. You should be good. Uh, don't worry about it. You're golden. Uh, anything after that, it, you know, hey, it's up in the air. It's up in the air. 16 to 9 aspect ratio is 100% offset with this. Now, you, the focal uh, or the focus adjustment takes approximately one second. Uh, trigger, good morning, good morning. Or, tr uh, yeah, trigger, good morning. How are you doing? Now, this does have an HDMI 1.4. It does have a DC input, auxiliary out, and a USB -A uh, type A in here. Now, this CPU is an octa-core A53 chipset. I believe it's an Andrino 506, if I remember correctly, with this one. Uh, 2 gigabytes of DDR3, 16 gigabytes of memory space uh, in there. Now, the battery is a 9700 milliamp battery. Uh, the Wi-Fi is 2.4 and 5G. It's Bluetooth 4.2 as well. Now, with that Android 8.1, you have access to... Thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of apps on hand, guys. You don't have to really worry about that. Uh, the only thing you're going to worry about is running out of space when you download too many of those apps. Now, this will actually video decode at 1080p at 60 frames per second, but it only supports 720p output. So just remember that. That's what it does. And that's what it is. Now, it will also do audio formats for FLAC, MP3s, uh, Vorbibs, uh, PCMs, I believe Waves and Opus, if I remember right. I think it was Opus. Uh, but it's a beautifully done projector. Now, this video doesn't do the picture quality justice. I'm going to tell you, you have to see this in person to believe how bright these really are. They're super, super bright in the right settings. Uh, if you use it outside at night on the walls or if you want to do it outside, it's going to pop. If you do it in a blacked out room, it's going to pop. Uh, if you're using it like, let's say, this lit up room, it'll still show on the wall. It's just not going to be as bright as you would want with a projector. 
Uh, it's a beautiful piece of technology, guys. The Anchor Nebula Capsule Max. Cool little piece right there. Very, very cool piece of technology. I believe we're going to talk about OBSBOT. Now, OBSBOT I've had a lot of times of hands-on with. I still use OBSBOT cameras. Uh, the one I do have in the cart, I don't have actually on hand right now. I ended up giving it to a team member so they could use it to record videos and stuff like that. But we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about the OBSBOT. The Osbot is a beautiful AI tracking style camera. Now, they call this the Tiny 4K PTZ. What does PTZ stand for? PTZ is pan, tilt, and zoom. So that means that this camera does have a two-axis gimbal, which means it pans, tilts, and zooms at, within that actual usage. Now, I'm going to pop over. We're going to do this. We don't need this to talk. We're just going to show you guys. Uh, hey, Phil, I already answered, buddy. You can't, you can't do that. My dude, you don't know. No, already answered, man. Already answered. Oh, <laughs> uh, you were slow. You were slow, my dude. Yeah, hey, you were too busy cooking hash. And not sharing with the rest of us. We can smell it from here. All right, let's talk about this. The tiny PTZ 4K camera is a beautifully well done camera. I'm going to jump forward to where we're actually pulling it out of the box and I can talk about this. Inside this, you're going to find some paperwork, a charging cable, a connecting cable, uh, a hard shell case. Uh, the hard shell case, guys, I uh, heated up some Easter meat. Uh, is that a mince meat? Uh, I, I like mince meat pies, buddy. I, I'm not. I'm. I'm down for mince meat pies. All right. I, I, I like those. Uh, so here's your shell that has everything inside it. Now I love that they give you this nice hard shell case to take it anywhere on the go. Now this does do 4K. I believe 4K is 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second. Can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, with a 60 frames per second, if I remember right. Now, it does have low-light correction, zoom certified uh, with that two-axis gimbal and omnidirectional microphones that work quite well, but I don't use them personally. I did test them out, and they work. Now, it does have a monitor mount. The monitor mount is magnetic and will connect up to your actual camera and sit on top of your monitor. But on the bottom of the camera, it still has the connector for the actual, let's say, tripods and stuff like that. So if you want to move it to tripod, you can do that. Now, there are two cables in this kit, USB-C to USB-C, and then you have a USB-C to, uh, I believe it's a DC or AC plug uh, for that. Now, you need both of those plugs to use this device. Don't just use the data cable. Now, they do give you an adapter for the USB-C to USB-A also. Now, with this, it does have a software. You can use it plug and play, but I suggest using the OpsBot Meet software. You want that software because you can do a lot more with it, including gesture controls. Uh, you can actually do gesture controls, which will allow you to zoom in and out. You can also do gesture controls to actually lock on to you so it quits auto tracking. Because this does auto track you, it's AI tracking, so it will actually follow you throughout the room. Now, the one thing that this uh, camera does not have is a privacy cover with it. You don't have to worry about that because if you flip that camera straight down, it automatically shuts that camera off and it no longer works for you with that. Now, they do offer a 1080p version of this, but I will tell you how to tell the difference is the 4Ks have a red ring around the lens. That's all you got to know. 4K has a red ring. All right. Now, this one does do four times zoom, so it can actually zoom in quite far onto you. If you want to see that little blemish on your skin, it will do that. Now you'll see the 1080p version up in the top and the 4K version down in the bottom and you'll notice the coloration differences in those settings. Now those are still raw, plug and played. Uh, no real adjustments to it. Remember you start using blackout curtains, changing your color blindings, your lighting, and all that. It will actually look a lot better. Now as you guys see, I'm having the auto tracking click on and you're going to see it follow me around. Now, of course, it's got two cameras going, so it's a little slower than normal, but 
this is actually not that slow. If I stand up, it will follow me upwards. It will follow me throughout the room. Now, here's your gesture control for the actual camera itself. That's approximately two times in, and I stopped it. Now, it's going to go back out with that. Uh, guys, these are great, great cameras that work phenomenally, phenomenally well. Cool things about it is, let's say you don't have to just use it for content creating. You can use this for chatting with your family and pretty much anything and everything out there. Now I am starting to actually, why is my camera so dark? For some reason my Sony is dark today and I don't know if my, uh, I wonder if my Elgato cam link's going bad. I feel like it's going bad because my camera is dark today. And it's all the normal lighting. All the normal lighting, man. Uh, Obsbot, guys. Obsbot, beautiful piece, beautiful piece. You should get yourself an op spot. Honestly, you should get one. Might need to build a new PC to fix it. Hmm. Well, I mean, a new PC would be nice. I do agree. Building a new PC would be really, really nice. I mean, I, I would be down for that. But, walled card would be really nice, too. <laughs> Uh, I do plan on building a new PC. I definitely need it done, but that's not the that's not the issue with the lighting. So, I mean, I can I can change some of this stuff around here. Hold on. Let's see. Will this help? How about that? Go 100% brightness and blind myself. What is the difference now, huh? Uh, it's there's. I think the cam link needs refresh. Hey, shit, bro, man. What's up? What's up? Yeah, it's day. Yeah, it's Saturday. Uh, it's almost Easter. Uh, uh, yep. <laughs> oh, what do you say? Happy Saturday. Hope all's going well. Hey, I appreciate it, buddy. I appreciate it, shit, bro, man. Uh, you're the uh, you're the real VP man, the MVP around here. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Uh, next up, guys, we have the Apex Forge Rotary Tool Accessories Kit that Merle did Tool for us. Kit from Apex. Now this is a 357 piece kit. This 357 piece kit has a lot of stuff in it, including. Uh, one piece wrench, one piece rubber wheel, one diamond cutting disc, and multiple, multiple other stuff like rotary cuts, diamond drill bits, uh, drill bits, uh, sanding disc, cutting off wheels. Uh, there's some more wire brushes. Uh, there is a uh, emery disc for like grinding, uh, buffer pads, sanding disc, ship rib circles around. Uh, what, huh? Oh, yeah, run, sir. What, what, what's manual labor, sir? <laughs> oh, man. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. <laughs> right here. I'm going to just let this what play. What you'll do is you'll take this <laughs> sanding disc and put it over this rubber and pull, put a screwdriver to this screw to swell it up so it doesn't slide around. Let's go ahead and put that away for now. Well, he's going to put that and away. Here we have some of our cutoff discs. There should be 80 of these things. Would have loved it if they would have labeled these, but yeah, it is what it is. And these are disposable. As you're cutting through things, it's going to chew through them. I want to show that a little bit later. Now, those cutoff so, discs actually come in a several style of grits. Yeah, That's why you'll notice the different rod. colorations. Let's go ahead and back this screw out. And there's two pieces of paper washers. White thin Laugh about the paper washers. Right there on the back. And then you're going to tighten this onto the carrier rod itself. Be careful not to over tighten. You can break those discs pretty easily. This shaft is what actually will mount into your rotary tool. I'll show that again. Hey guys, I'll be right back. These are an interesting piece. They're etching or engraving pieces so those are real nice real sparkly and, and later you'll see they can move quite a bit of material 
All right, let's go ahead and clean up a little bit. Let's see a couple other pieces here. This is one of the diamond cutting discs, which is for the really heavy duty things, real shiny. Up here we have a few polish. Anybody wheels. see the problem here? And let's get this cleaned up, and then I will put this to work. So that's 357 pieces for a beautiful rotary kit. Now, they also offer a rotary tool from Apex Forge with that. Now, uh, guys, I just got a huge stack of stuff. Uh, we're going to kind of see what some of this stuff is. Uh, we got some sink wire products. So we've got some sink wire over here. We'll just make a stack. Throw some stuff aside. Hi. Me too, but it's Easter weekend. I was hoping for a light weekend. It looks like a phone holder, car mount. Uh, no name on it. So we'll have to figure out what company sent that. Yeah. Uh, new line headset. New line headset. <laughs> I don't know what half of this stuff is. Oh, another sink wire product, it looks like. Another sink wire for your car. Now I have a mess over here. Hey, Sheila, what's up? Uh, Oracle four port USB hub. Good morning, Miss Danny. Good morning. What's up? And then we have the big box, which we'll have to send half of it. <laughs> I have no clue what this Ah. You guys need some leg massagers? <laughs> right. There's no sunglasses in there. No sunglasses in that stack of stuff. Uh, happy pre-Easter, everybody. Happy pre-Easter. I uh, woke up at 4 a.m. Went back to bed. Till now. Yeah, I've been up and down all night. Up and down all night. All right, up and down. It's just the way the way the cookie crumbles around here. Uh, let's grab some security cameras. Right on. All right, guys. Next up in the cart is two different cam kits. We have the Eufy Cam 3C 4K cam kit, uh, which is a four-piece kit. Then we have the Eufy Cam 2C Pro 2 cam kit. Now, I actually have both of these sets, but I only have one camera out here, and I'm going to talk about the differences between the two. Of course, the big and foremost is you have 4K and then you have the 2K. What? Yeah, 2K resolutions. So you do have two different styles with this. Now they are both 180 day battery life camera, so you only charge it every six months. Uh, both pretty much look almost the same, just slight technical differences uh, with the actual front pieces right here. So on the 4K, you have the light down here. On the 2K, the light is right in here for you. Now this is all is as big as this camera is, and on the back you do have a tripod mount or the wall mount that they come with it for that. On the bottom you are greeted with the USB-C charging port that you can actually plug in and charge with that, and that is where you also see the speaker and the microphone setup. So it is two-way audio. That's correct, two-way audio. Now 
There's a difference between the 4K and the 2K kit. The 4K kit gives you a home base. The home base, if uh, the home base on the 4K kit is upgradable up to 16 terabytes with an SSD. The 2K, 2K kit does not have that option. You have to use a USB drive or your phone to get that extra storage. Uh, the only piece that does need to be wired up is the home base. You will connect the home base up to your router or modem with an RJ45 connection. Uh, you will then go over to the Eufy app. The Eufy security app is 100% totally free. You do not have to pay, no hidden fees, nothing like that whatsoever. Now inside that app, you have this nice little app right here, guys. Uh, hey, Pat, how you doing? Uh, you can see all the cameras. Now the cameras are off because I'm home. There's no point for them to be on. But at the bottom, you'll be greeted with the home base. And you guys see it says 76% available of my hard drive space. Now with the 4K kit, you'll notice the AI improvement and the face management. What is face management? Well, it can actually recognize the homeowners and will not trigger the camera when it recognizes the homeowners. Now on here, you also see all the cameras. Now I do have a 2C Pro connected and the S300s. The S300s is the 4K with that. Now we're gonna pop over and I'm gonna show you guys this. I'm gonna actually turn on, let's say my back bedroom, which is the 2C. Uh, we're gonna show you guys the 2C camera. Uh, since it is actually on right now, there you guys go. There is the 2C on my back bedroom right there. Now let's enlarge this a little so you guys can see it in large and in charge. So there is my picture of uh, the top of my bedroom door that is on the top of the door uh, watching my bedroom. Now if I go into this and let's back out, let's do this, let's go into settings. And I want to do, nope, not, not that. I want video settings. I want night vision settings, and I want to turn on spotlight and night vision. Do, 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 do. Let's back up. Let's show you guys this right now. We're going to turn spotlight off. And now without the lighting on, you guys will notice we're in black and white. So it does do night vision actually quite cool. Now you'll see down there that it does have a flashlight, does have security alarm trigger, so you can trigger it yourself also. Now some other cool stuff about this is it will auto notify you uh, if you have a triggered picture. It'll send you a, a little thumbnail of what triggered it and then you can go in and look at the actual stuff and see why it was triggered with that. Now I'm going to show you guys what the light looks like when you have the light on with this of course. I'm going to mute that. Don't want to hear myself talk. Then we're going to auto enlarge this. We're going to turn that light on. And here is what these lights look like. It is super, super bright. And if you guys are wondering what you look like, there you guys go. Hey, there you are. Look at that. Camera recording, camera recording, camera recording the camera. Uh, you guys ever wonder what it takes to record? Records, records. Uh, with that, you guys, it's cool little piece. Now, Inside there you do have, let's see if I, well, let me get back here. Let's go out, let's exit, and let's show you guys right here. Here is where it keeps track of everything that it has actually triggered or notified it uh, with you. So you do have access to get in there, read all your files on hand and everything with that. Now, like I said, guys, both of these kits are very beautifully done. If you want an upgradable version, like to have, be able to upgrade the hard drive, the 4K 4Cam kit is the one for you. And today it's like $199. It's normally $300 and something plus dollars. Actually, that's the wrong one. Uh, it's $589, normally $700. Now, the 2K kit is actually $199, normally $319. I'm going to tell you guys, security... Uh, they're very beautiful. They work very great. Don't be caught without one because honestly, they will help detour, detour criminals. They will also help pinpoint what happened at what point. 
Uh, you never know what else you'll catch on these cameras because honestly, you can catch uh, people like me tripping over our own socks. What? Yeah. You can catch catch funny moments on that, and then you can be on fam uh, America's Most uh, Funniest and stuff. Ah, cool little kits, honestly. Yuffie. The Yuffie stuff, guys. Yuffie. But maybe you guys want one for the doggos. Well, hey, guess what? Yuffie makes a dog feeder. You guys want a dog feeder? A little pet feeder? This is my new Yuffie pet cam and treat dispenser, and I've absolutely fallen in love with ah, it. Ah, right on. Because right on, you. I have some um, snacks that I've loaded into it. Uh, you just simply pull this little tab at the top and you can put it in there. As you can see, there's a release button and a sync button. You need to use the sync button when you first um, install the app to make sure that you can sync it up to the app. And then once you do, it's actually really easy to use and really simple and I love it. Um, I have the app <laughs> on a separate phone. And as you can see, you can see myself recording in here. Um, the camera itself is really high quality. I absolutely love it. Um, and what's really cool is the treat feature. Now, I was shocked at the first time I used it because it scared the crap out of me, honestly. But I'm going to turn it towards the mirror so you can see what I'm talking about. So when you, on here, you just pull this down and the treats will dispense. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And how far you pull it down is how fast it shoots it out. So you're going to see it launch it. <laughs> and I just think that's so cool. So make sure that like you're doing it kind of low um, to where it still registers. You got to make sure you see the little thing on the side, the little orange bar. And then it kind of still shoots it out. But, um, you know, at least it's not as hard where there's like a lot of recoil. And oh, all this stuff is. So make it's sure that list, guys. using this. You put it in an area that's kind of open uh, so the dog can see. I really like it when you use it. And as you heard it, it makes like a little buzzing sound. And that's really cool. It also captures sound itself. I have to, I had to lower the volume. As you can see, it's as low as it can go because recording this and talking here with the microphone, it causes a lot of feedback. So I had to turn it down, but there is sound and you can also do stuff at the bottom. Um, you can take screenshots, you can record the video. Um, you can say a command. It has some built-in commands and you can hold the speak function so you can actually talk through it. I don't think that will cause feedback. So I'm going to try it. Um, and yep, feedback. Speak Watch. Function. It says hold to speak. Hello. Trying to, oh. Hello. So it came through. I don't know if you heard it. Um, but nope, you gotta we didn't hear it. Loud for it to get it. And then it also has some other features at the bottom, like the activity, the round lock, the auto night vision, the tracking, and the calibration, so that it can, you know, you have a lot of customizability with how uh, you use the camera and how you track your pets. Right now, I have it in the restroom because we just picked up a stray. Um, this is Jonesy, named after a like a stray. He says and we're going to be using this camera to monitor him. So that, you know, we can make sure he's okay while we're checking up on him and stuff. And so I'm, this is something that I'm super happy to have. Once we move, we're going to be using it with the dog so I can use the features of, you know, dispensing treats, conditioning him to recognize the sound of this. But honestly, Yuffie did an absolutely amazing job with this pet camera and dispenser. It looks absolutely amazing. It's super easy to set up. There's not like many pieces at all. This came with the little, you know, AC uh, adapter for it. And then there was nothing else to do but plug it into the bottom. Like I said, take this cap off, put a couple of treats in there, and then make sure you hit this button when you sync it. The app does a really good job at, you know, instructing you through it. And the uh, manual that it comes with helps you set it up the best way possible. So if you're looking for a nice, amazing pet webcam and treat dispenser, one that has super good quality, a lot. And again, guys, it's Yuffie, so the app is 100% free. You don't have to worry about it. You just connect it up, and you're good to go. Uh, that's a good thing about Yuffie. Uh, Yuffie does a good job with those free apps uh, that you don't have to worry about. Now, we're going to pop over. We're going to show you guys this next one. This is a video doorbell system uh, that Nikita so also did. Dual camera, double security, Yuffie system, and I'm super excited about it. It features a 2K full HD doorbell cam, uh, which is right here. And then this is the system that you put inside that's going to actually be the actual doorbell. I'm going to just lift this up just to show you guys, um, 
you know what kind of comes with it so there's a bunch of cords and stuff in here that's going to be for the actual mount for the doorbell and everything and then of course some other stuff that you're going to need so i'm going to go ahead and set this up and get it all ready and then show you guys how it performs i'm super excited about it so i have the home base portion set up and the now this is the home base that you'll see on that 2c camera kit the 2k kit it's the same home base which is kind of cool. That means you can hook up these doorbells all to the same product. You don't have to have multiple home bases. Even though they do come with it, you don't have to have them all connected up to that home base. That means you can buy separate pieces without the home base kit if you really want it. Now with this guys, it will still keep track of everything. But the cool part about this kit is it does have dual cameras. That means you can actually have a camera facing forward and taking a picture of the person at your door, but it also has a camera facing the ground. So let's say the mailman is dropping off a package. You will actually see the package in that picture as well. Now it does have multiple different chimes. So you can actually change the chimes out to uh, whatever you want it to ring with that. That's actually really, really cool. Now you right there, you're seeing uh, the dual camera piece right there, the top and bottom. Uh, with that so you do have that dual piece with it which is actually beautifully done now you have about 15 gigabytes of internal storage on this home base that will keep track of the uh, notifications pictures and those 20 second clips now if you want you can clear that out every so often or you can expand it up if you need to expand it with like a little sd card or usb drive uh, with that now the prompt volume will allow you to go max or uh you can change it to lower or higher higher now you can change all right there are your home base alerts or your door chimes so you can actually do multiple different styles of chimes of course his phone is about to die which is pretty funny uh, since he's doing this video but it's a great piece of technology honestly guys Eufy 100% free app don't have to worry about it works very very well uh, just a good little stuff now they also offer a whole bunch of other stuff like this next piece this is a RoboVac Hey, what is going on guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we're going to be taking a look at the UV X8 Hybrid Vacuum Mop from Anchor. This is an absolute beast of a robotic mop vacuum combo. So let's go ahead and jump in and see everything that it does. Inside of the box, there are quite a few things. So let's go ahead and make sure that you know everything in it. You're going to get an instruction manual, the mop attachment, as well as some replacement pads. And then you are going to get another filter that you need to make sure you get installed. So once that's installed, you should be good to go. You're also going to get some zip ties to clean up the floor. You're going to get the charging base itself. And then you are going to get the charging cable that is used with the charging base. And then of course you are going to get the vacuum itself right there. And taking a closer look at the vacuum itself, you guys can see right here, it's got a very simple, but also very modern design on the top right here. You have that Eufy logo. You have that really nice copper branding all the way around it. Now, the cool thing about this RoboVac is it does have twin turbines. Both of those turbines are 20,000 PA or Pascal scale, Pascal scale suction with this. Now, this is a hybrid, so you can actually mop with it. Now, with the app for the RoboVac, the app does some really cool stuff. Now, unfortunately, this is a separate app from the Eufy security, which is okay with me on this in, in this instance. It connects up and you can actually do some cool stuff. Like when it maps out your house, you can pick and choose where you want it to vacuum, when you want it to vacuum. You can also pick and choose where you want it to mop. Uh, that means once the house is mapped out, you realize what rooms like the hardwood floors, you click that section to have a mop section and it'll do that. Now, it also keeps track of when or if things need replaced. Let's say the HEPA filter in this needs replaced. It will tell you. It will tell you when the uh, brushed wheels need changed, the edging tool needs changed, uh, maybe your sensor needs swapped out. It will keep track of all of that in there. Now, the cool part is, is it works in this rather well just with the app and B42. What's up? Good morning. Happy pre-Easter, guys. Happy pre-Easter. And thank you for the raid over there, guys. How are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty good, Sandy. I cannot complain. Doing pretty good. Uh, even though my camera looks a little messed up today, we'll figure that out later. <laughs> uh, how is everybody else's weekend going so far? Uh, B42, how are you doing? Binda, what's up, buddy? What's up, Binda? Uh, for all of you streamers over there on Twitch, you guys should give B42 a check. 
Uh, really should. They're a great group. Each one of them streams. Each one of them has their own channel. Uh, each one of them uh, does a lot of cool stuff, a lot of different games. Uh, Binda likes to hold family game nights with the family over there at B42, and they always do something a little crazy and have fun. Um, weekends going to get right on, right on. Lots of family. Yeah. That's the way my day will be tomorrow is just a couple family members, but we're going to have some. We'll, we'll have some fun. I wanted to cook a brisket, but I got vetoed out. My wife did not like the idea of brisket and wanted ham. I don't understand that. I really thought brisket would have been the better choice. <laughs> uh, I was looking forward to a brisket sandwich. I don't know what it was. I should cook it Monday. That's it. Cook a brisket Monday. It is. It's, and my wife, my wife is really particular about her holidays. It, it definitely is an Easter thing. I just wanted to cook a brisket. What a brisket, all right? Brisket was just what I really needed. <laughs> then I feel having a $60 brisket sitting in my my fridge is or freezer is just a waste. It says eat me. <laughs> uh, but guys, this is the Yuffie RoboVac. Great little RoboVac if you need. Or maybe you guys want to watch Michael Clark play a guitar. Well, we could do that also. Right here. Hi, my name is Michael Clark. I play in a band called Much Obliged. And I also stream under the name T Valhallen3 on Twitch. And I am here today to review this Donner Oh, Boss Man's song. Awake? I wasn't sure the relight ding up. when it comes down to it. I've played a lot of starter guitars in my life, and I have played... At V42, so I really do appreciate the raids, guys. You guys are the true rock stars. Thank you, guys. Feels good. There's a slight bit of catch on the frets on the sides of it, but uh, like I said, I've seen so much worse, and I've seen that problem way worse on the starter guitars that... I've even bought for more money than what you could get this one for. It sounds great. Hey, I appreciate that. I totally forgot about Kick. I think I'm streaming over there. Wow. <laughs> uh, thanks, Sherp Roman. Have a great day, buddy. Thanks for lurking. I mean, I forget all the sites we're on. <laughs> I feel like I want a game. I should be playing Diablo. Diablo. Now we're just gonna jam out. See, that is the Donner Full Body Dreadnought Acoustic Guitar. Now, this acoustic guitar does come with all the tuning tools you need to tune it. does come with the strap. does come with the, uh, the carrying case and a full other of guitar picks and other utensils that you would need to start off with this. Now, this would make a great first uh, gift for the kids to learn guitar uh, if you guys need from Donner. Now, it does come in other colors. It does come in, I believe, Sunburst. Uh, rustic or cedar, I can't remember the color. But if you guys need, there you go. Or maybe you need a security camera like this one. This is the real link. This is a solar security camera that Makeda did. The Dragon Bloggers here showing. Now this is a full-on style of very cool security camera that does have pan, tilt, and zoom. Now this actually does 1080p. It's an Argus PT. I would just pan and tilt. Uh, with that now you could technically zoom with the software inside now it does come with the mounting hardware to mount it up on the wall outside it does come with that solar panel to keep it fully charged at all times now this is a four megapixel lens camera uh, it does take an app the app is of course free does are free you will need to make a, an account login or whatever you want with that uh, with it now 
you'll take that, you use that little code right there to scan a QR code to actually get this and get going. Um, well, the Niantic Orange Pokemon Go, maybe. Uh, what happened to Pokemon Go? I was just playing it earlier. What I miss? What I miss? <laughs> I don't, I don't play it for long periods, but yeah, what I missed there. Uh, please explain. Uh, so with this, guys, it is a good little solar camel that just keeps itself charged. You don't have to charge it and anything like that. With the app, you have two-way audio. You can listen it and play. They doubled the price of them. Oh, yeah, I knew that was going to happen. I just, I, I don't use the remote raid passes. So, I mean, the only time I raid is when I'm parking at my wife's work and I play the raids, whatever, there. Yeah, they changed a whole bunch of other stuff, didn't they? I think I got the memo the other day for it. Uh, but right there, that is the real link, guys. That is the 1080p solar one. Now we're also going to show you guys the 4K version. Now you're making me want to pull Pokemon back up. Guys, Nikita with Dragon Park is here showing you the real link. For you got the memo. I got the little pop-up notification and, this is a and an email. So within the so, packaging comes the camera itself. I don't technically read all the all the way through. A waterproof cap covering <laughs> for your wires, the Ethernet cord, and then of course it comes with screws to make sure that you can install the actual camera. It also features two-way audio so you can talk uh, to your See, I got eggs hatching. Ambient sound and these really cool <laughs> Now, Rio Link is easy to set up. You simply have the guy haven't even moved. I got an egg hatching. Scan the QR code at the bottom of the camera, and then you're good to go. Once you get it set up, yeah, not worth my time. We'll just we'll just get rid of them. View and all these cool features within the app that you can use. It's really easy to set up the camera. As you can see, I have it overlooking a nice little walkway porch for my home, and it's just super easy to install. Yeah, remember, where is it? I can't remember. I just love how it looks. Not only that, but it news. has a really nice set of lights that activate. That's what it was, the news. Time. So if you're looking for a stay in the know, so you can actually do stay in the know. Has you covered with its awesome RLC 811A. I just that's whatever. <laughs> I don't play it enough to actually. I mean, I am level almost level forty, but I honestly don't play it enough that the remote raid pass raising is gonna hurt me personally, but. Of course, I don't purchase anything. I play it to play it. I don't purchase any of the stuff. Um, what's next? Oh, we got the Syncom Hand Massager. Now, this is actually a cool little piece. I believe Nate did this, but we can talk. Oh, Nikita. Now, this is a Syncom Hand Massager, guys. This is a fully rechargeable hand massager. Uh, this hand massager does do some cool stuff. Uh, it is a 15-minute timer, so after 15 minutes, it will shut down. It will not keep going and overstimulate your hand. Now, it does come with this cool little carrying pouch. This carrying pouch is just that. It's a cloth carrying pouch to carry it around. You don't have to. You can use it for whatever you want, but they expect you to put this in there and keep it in there. Now, inside here, you'll be greeted with the hand massager, the charging cable, and some gloves. Now, the gloves are meant to be used to keep the sweat out of the device, and so you can use hand massaging oils inside that also as well. Now, it is a universal device, so you can do left or right hand with this. Now, on this, when you use it, you have multiple modes, multiple intensities, and multi-heating levels. The way you'll be determined to tell that is, is by the colorations of the button. When you click it, it'll change colors and patterns. Now there's your charging brick, the USB-C cord right here that he's going to pop out right there. Let's see, USB-C, or USB to uh, DC, whatever. Uh, simple little product, works fundamentally very well. I've actually had one, a different style though. Mine didn't have the open holes. There's actually a newer upgraded version to this one. Uh, I believe we're showing it in a minute too. That's weird. We are. Uh, but that's all you do, just put it in, turn the power on, you will then check... Click your mode. Your mode will work by changing the way the airbags inflate and massage around your hands. Uh, you also in click and choose how much intensity. The intensity is how much air is actually put into those airbags. Now, the heating levels, how much heat you want. The cool thing is, is you can't over, over inflate. It will actually realize it's too much the air in there and it will stop with the actual circuits. So that's the little syncom right there. I'm going to jump forward once, and we're going to show you guys the next one. 
Hey, Justin, what's up, man? What's up? So this is the upgraded version, guys. I'm going to show you guys this one. I've tried a ton of massagers in the past, but I've never tried a hand massager. I have tested stuff from Sincom. I was just sitting here wanting to play Diablo. Package too. You have like this this foam material keeping everything packaged well. In the box, you're going to have everything you need to get this set up. So we're even going to have a carrying bag right down here at the bottom. Oh, now, we yeah. don't really need this. It's going to be very straightforward, very easy. And then we are going to have the massager itself. And uh, first impressions, this looks really cool. I like the the blue that they have on this. They have like this faux leather accent around like the control panel. It says it is rechargeable, so <laughs> it, you guys can see that. Oh, he can't chat. It it's charging. So it's massage. Just refresh the page, buddy. Refresh the page. The bottom part of my hand right here, the middle and up here near my fingers. You see how it's like compressing around it. Standard white light is going to be intensity level one. We have intensity level two and three. Now you can change the modes. You have three different modes. You have two different heat settings. Oh, that is that was a smart idea. Getting it around these knuckles right here. That's a smart idea. Three intensity settings, three different modes, which is how it massages and then two different heat modes. So that's the upgraded version right there, guys. Nice little piece. If you're looking for something like that, great little hand massagers. They really, really are. But maybe, just maybe, you guys want some lighting for your PC desk. Well, Govi's got a lot of different lighting that does a very, very cool stuff. Now, before we go into that, we'll talk about some of the Govi lightings that I have back here. The Gobi lightings back here are beautifully, beautifully done. I have the Gobi lights on the TV, the Gobi light bars. I also have Gobi tri-glide panels up here and desk lighting. Uh, yeah, so if you buy the uh, the bigger versions, you'll get to play it on June 1st. So if you get the big version, you can play it on June 1st. If you get the basic version, then you have to wait till the 6th. Uh, we played the actual in... Uh, we played... Yeah, the beta. So we were streaming and playing in the beta, and we loved it. Ah, uh, it's so good. Now, I have Diablo 3, and I've, I've been starting to play Diablo 3 again just to get me through till Diablo 4 drops. But Diablo 4 is amazing. Hey, Woolworth, what's up? So Govi, guys. Govi is another one of them companies. All their lighting works in one app. The one app will allow you to do a lot of stuff. Uh, so with that, guys, you can do all of their lights in one app. And the app is completely free. You have a lot of adjustments and stuff. But I'm going to pop over here. I'm going to let Nate show off his little video um, here. guys. What's up? Nate with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. Today, we're going to be taking a look at another awesome product by Govi. These are the Govi 16.4-inch. RGB IC light strips. So these are going to be a great way to add flair to whatever setup you can do. Uh, headache kick a back in. Backyard patio, so. indoors on your walls. As you guys can see, yeah. I have a set we up made under a my desk, which is super easy to get set up. It has sticky on the back side of it that peels off, and it sticks up, and it's going to stay there for a long time. Now, this is the 16.4 version. This does come in longer lengths, but we're going to go ahead and talk about these today. So these are going to be able to be paired with the Govi app. So let me go ahead and show you the Govi app right here. So if we take oh, a look at this, you can see that I have all of my Govi lights right here. But what we're after today is going to be these desk lights right there. So if you want to, you can individually control them by just turning them off. So if we go ahead and hit the off button right here, you guys are going to notice after a couple of seconds, turn them off, depending sir? on your Wi-Fi speed, mine's pretty slow tonight. It now, he's showing you guys how to turn it on and off, and he's going to pop open the app and show you inside the app. The app is really cool because once you're inside the app, you'll see that you can do what's called music mode. Uh, you can do individual lighting colors where you can change the actual sections of the light to whatever color you want. You can then do what's called scenes. Now, they have scene mode. Scene modes has a whole bunch of preset scenes for the individual lighting devices. Now, some of the devices all use the same scene, which is actually really, really kind of cool. Now they also have DIY mode. DIY mode will allow you to create your own stuff and your own functions uh, with that. Maybe you have multiple different styles of lights and you want them all to do different things at different times. You can do that in there. Now in here with the scenes, I believe this one's got like 40 different scenes on this one. Uh, I have one that's got like 64 different scenes uh, with that. Now there is your reactive like lightning strikes and stuff like that, which is actually really, really cool with that. 
But the best part is, is then you can actually do the Govi Dream View. The Govi Dream View will allow you to pair up all your lighting into one thing and affect it with it. Now, some other cool stuff with that, guys, is it will allow you to do voice chat to it. So if you have Google Home Assistant or if you have, uh, oh, what's the other one? Uh, yeah, yeah, Amazon. Uh, Mohammed, hello, how are you doing? Uh, what's up? Thank you for popping in. Uh, so with that, you have Alexa. Alexa will allow you to talk to it, and you can turn it on and off and all that other stuff with that with her. Of course, my TV just heard me, and she beeped and chimed in, and I was trying not to do that for everybody else. But, Balberman, what's up, dude? How you doing? Uh, so Govi, guys, it's a beautiful kit. Honestly, Govi makes some great, great stuff. Uh, if you guys need lighting, I really do say check out Govi. Govi might have you have what you need. Now, if I do this, and I'm going to do this only once, guys. Alexa, turn all lights on. Okay. All of a sudden, my bottom half of me is glowing green. The panels above me have started glowing, and that turns all my light on. I can literally just tell her to do it and go in there. Or I can do this and pop over. I'm, not, I'm sure you guys can't see a lot of the glow, but my hand is quite white green. So I'm going to go into the Govi app, and I'm going to show you guys some other cool stuff. The Govi app has more than just lighting. You do have what you can do home appliances or like the meat thermometers, which I'll be using for the ham tomorrow uh, or my brisket. I don't care which. Uh, brisket's not getting cooked tomorrow. I lost out on that one. Uh, but you also can do uh, right there car lighting because you can actually do car lighting, TV lights, rope lights, uh, panels, and everything. If I start turning off stuff, you'll notice that things will start getting a little duller around here. But Govi, guys, it's a great product. Uh, I apologize about that. I am truly sorry. Yeah, I tend to try to stick away from actually doing that live because of that. I think we got some solar deck lights. So, yeah, it is. It really is. And it shouldn't do that. So I believe that it should be recognize your voice. <laughs> uh, all I said was turn on. Solar lights charge all day in the sun. They are ready, and it is nighttime, and they look absolutely amazing. The blue looks perfect. I love uh, how I was able to evenly space them all out and give it a really nice effect, too. Um, what's I'm really sorry. Nice I'll just take my box, and I'll live in my box. Look at them. Um, you'll notice that on the back side, they have a switch here, and you can turn them on and off just depending. I typically keep them off during the day so that there's no burn. But you can leave them on, and they'll go until they run out, and then uh, they'll turn on automatically once they have enough charge and there's no longer enough sunlight out. But they look amazing. I have it basically going up my driveway um, inside of the fence. And like I said, they look absolutely amazing. They're really easy to place. You can ground them with stakes if you want to, or you can just... Now, these are the Creep Out Blue Solar Dock Lights or Driveway Lights or Deck Lights. They are fully solar, guys. You will have the function to turn them all on. Then you just leave them on, and they're good to go. Now, these are the blue colorations. They do have a couple other colorations if you need. Now, I'm going to bounce forward, guys, to another product that I really... Oh, it's not in here. It's not in here. What? Oh, I saw it, and I was like, all excited. Let's show you guys the eye massager, then. I got like all excited and it's not there. I mean, I feel, I feel, I feel let down. Let's, let's show you guys the Syncom eye massager. Now, this is a very unique product. This is the second eye massager I've ever reviewed because Tiffany, thank you for the follow. Existed until recently. So this is the second one I reviewed, and it has some pros. Over uh, one sec, guys. Uh, somebody the previous one that I reviewed, which I won't name that brand because that's not sent me this one so this is the syncom eye massager and what this does is it has kneading kind of like shiatsu balls as well as little think of them like airbags that 
that expand back. and inflate and then contract. Combine that with heat. No, all good. And all what good. This is designed to do is you wear it around your eyes. And I saw the Wii Max and I was like, "Oh, right on! I get to show it." And I was like, "No." And the heat <laughs> to help relieve eye strain and stress <laughs> around your eyes. And the previous one I reviewed was just airbags. It didn't have as much heat, and it did not have those rolling balls. So I'll be honest with you, I was afraid to try this thing because when I heard it has shiatsu rolling balls, I was worried about these little like you know beads or something rolling over my eyeballs, even with my you eyes closed. beads the rolling over his eyeballs. Charges via USB C. Turn it on. So you hear power on. It says welcome, and then you just put it on. And it starts going. No fancy buttons to use. It just starts working. So right now, I don't know if you can hear it on the microphone, but no, I can't hear it, sir. Vibrations and just did a hissing. Now, the cool thing about this headset, guys, that's massaging, it's actually Bluetooth capable. So you can actually pair it up to your phone and play that music that you want to hear. Maybe you guys want some relaxing music. Maybe you guys want some waves going on. Maybe you want nature sounds going. You can do that with the Bluetooth capability. Now, the cool part is, is since it goes over your head and it goes and starts just heating up and massaging. Now, I'm going to say this and I'm going to say this the nicest way possible. All of these companies that are doing these eye massagers, please, please add on a washable cover. You're adding a heating level to these. I sweat. I can't wash them if I don't have a washable cover. So please add those, guys. I would, I would love to see a washable cover on these uh, because, I mean, honestly, if you're using the heating part, uh, and if you're like me, I sweat. So it's just no matter what, even if it's winter, I sweat. I would prefer a washable cover on them. That's my only my, my only gripe about these. And I, I'm going to tell you guys honestly, always whenever I do a product about stuff. And I'm sure Justin feels the same way uh, about certain products like that. It's like, you know, they give you this cool eye massager, but I wish they had a washable cover that maybe was removable so you can wash it. Uh, but it's a great piece, guys. Honestly, it works really well for the migraines. If you guys have ever had migraines, these work really, really well. Um, I believe we got my wife in a video. So if you guys have never met my wife, she did do this video for us. This is for a hair dryer. Uh, this hair dryer is still here, still being used. You know what? Would you guys like to see the hair dryer instead? I can actually get the hair dryer. I will let this start playing, but I will actually get the hair dryer and hey show you guys everyone, in person. I'm Rachel, and today I have for you the Life and Swift hair dryer. So it comes in this box here. Love the box. I love a pretty box. I don't know about you. And so inside the box, it comes with, of course, you have your instruction manual, and then here is the unit itself. So this is the Life and Dryer. And then it comes with the attachments. You have your diffuser. And then you have your, uh, your concentrator here. And then you have the uh, fan style one to like really get on the vent brush. And what I really love is that these are magnetic. Take like, that back. Like, seriously, how cool is that? Like, it doesn't come All right, I take it back. I cannot show it to you because my kid took it with her. Yeah, Dad, this is my wife. Off, right? Amazing. I love that. So no, like, clipping, no trying to screw it on, like, just really clip and go. Love it. Yeah, clean the and go. And so they all just clip on just like that. This is gonna really good grip, guys. Like, wow, that's not gonna go anywhere while you're drying your hair. It's not gonna fly off. And now the cool part is, is this is actually magnetic connection. So the magnetic connection will allow you to put those tips on there and swap them out without having to worry about clipping it on and breaking the clips uh, or anything like that. Now this is a brushless hair dryer. So the brushless motor, guys, is beautifully, beautifully done. It will do about 110,000 RPMs. Now, it does come in like eight other colorations. If you don't like this coloration, they do have other colorations with that. 
Now, some other cool stuff with it is, is the actual heating levels of technology. You have this back end where you can go from off to on, which is fan level one, and then fan level two. You then have a button underneath will allow you to choose cold air, uh, warm air, or medium air, or hot air. So it does have those levels of heating with that. Now, it does have this really cool protection with that, guys. Uh, I apologize. Uh, need to shut that off. That's actually my mom calling. I uh, probably should have answered that, but I'm, I'm working. Uh, so with this, guys, the button will allow you to determine which level of fan levels or heat you want. Now, another cool part is, is if you hold that button down that chooses, chooses that heating level, you can go what's called circulation mode. Circulation mode will allow it to swap back and forth from cold to hot to cold to hot. That's kind of cool to have that there. Now, it actually is putting out a lot of air, but it's not super loud. Settings here. So, there you guys go. my finger here. So now we're on medium. So you have that kind of light orange ring. So what she did not realize is she held down the button, so it went into circulation mode. But one other technology that's built into this hair dryer is is if the motor or the hair dryer determines that the, the product is getting too hot, it automatically goes into cool down mode so you don't overheat the actual hair dryer itself or your hair. And that will actually stop the damaging of your hair, which is actually very cool also with that. And to have the different nozzles uh, with this and everything else, it's a really nice hair dryer. Now, I'm going to tell you guys right now, my wife wished she could have kept this. My kid claimed it. My kid has it. My daughter took it. It's, it's, it's now my daughter's. This hair dryer is beautifully, beautifully done. If you guys have never had a brushless style hair dryer, uh, you should probably check one out. They are phenomenal, phenomenal hair dryers. The best part is, is if you use like the old traditional style hair dryer, you'll notice the old traditional ones are really top heavy because the motor is up top and it's bigger and bulkier and it's top heavy on your wrist. Since the motor is actually in the handle, you don't have to worry about that. And it's a brushless motor, so it gets more force from a smaller package and you're good to go. A uh, great hair dryer. My wife and kid love this and my daughter won out. She won out. Let's just go there. She won the battle and got it. Um, let's see here. I believe we got up next is the Shinewell leg massages I did. Alright guys, these are the Shinewells. The Shinewells are actually a cool piece of technology. These are actually zippered up, so they do have zippered legs for that. Now, you do have this carrying bag. The carrying bag is cool because most of them don't come with it, and you have to find somewhere to put these things. Now, it does have a controller. The controller is like the air pump to the device. Now, you do have to connect left and right together to use it at once. You can't just use one leg. Now, it does have a power plug. The power plug connects up, and that is how you have a power source. Of course, you guys will see that I have a plugging mess right there because I didn't have anything closer to do this video. Now, the way this works is, is it has multi-air bag levels throughout this. Now, this is a full-on leg massager with heat. Now, it does have three modes, three intensities, and three heating levels with this. Now, this device will actually do your legs, your calves, your feet, and your thighs. So, it actually does the full piece with this, which is actually really, really nicely, nicely done. Now, if you guys need something like this, definitely get it. Now, these are actually washable inside. It's got a washable fabric, so you can take a rag in there, wash it out, and everything with that. Uh, using these are actually beautifully done, guys. Shinewell did a good job with these. Um, what can I say with this one? I uh, Like $139 for this kit, it's actually a good deal. Uh, if you guys want, there are others on the market at other price ranges that can actually go a little lower than this. But these are well-rounded device that works well. Next, you know what? I'm grabbing this next device to show you guys this live. I have this one. I know that.
the box. This is from Andoval. This is the Andoval Mag Stick Selfie Stick. Uh, it comes in this cool little carrying case with a little strap. The strap is adjustable to your own uh, liking and with that. Now, it does have their little logo right there for you. And now inside this little kit, you're going to be greeted with a few different items with this. Now, I'm going to pull out the stick first and set it aside because we're going to show you guys that in a second. As long as it doesn't drop it. Inside here, it comes with a couple pieces that you will actually probably enjoy or like. First and foremost is this measuring tool. It is called the matchup tool. This matchup tool is for non-mag safe style devices. That's right. Non-mag safe style devices. What does that mean? Well, what that means is, is if your phone is not magnetically style like your iPhones 12s, 13s, or 14s, it comes with this little metal ring that can actually stick up to a non Mac safe phone to make it magnetically stickable like that. Now, you don't have to have that if you have an iPhone, so you don't have to worry about that. Now, here is your selfie stick. Selfie stick does have this removable remote control. The removable remote control will allow you to start video or take pictures on hand. It's just a Bluetooth connection. It pairs right up to your phone, and you don't have to worry about that. Then you have the selfie stick. This is your selfie stick. Now the cool part is, is this turns into more than just a selfie stick. By popping the bottom out, it is now a tripod. Now this tripod is just really short, right? Well, no, no, it's really not. Because it's actually super, super long. So it can actually be a four standing tripod and your needs with that. Now, it not only can be a tripod, but a selfie stick. So selfie sticks are just, you know, that it's a selfie stick. Take selfies. Uh, now, let's see if I can actually close this tripod piece right here. So on the device, here is the head. The head is really cool. And as you guys can see, it actually moves and all of that. Now, if you notice that I just pushed it, it pops open. And there's a button back here that it will lock it closed. Just that simple. Grab yourself a magnetic style phone like the iPhone and it will magnetically stick and you don't have to worry about it like that. But if you want, click it, lock it closed and you're good to go. Now since it's selfie stick, this one actually does a couple different adjustments. So you can actually rotate it uh, just like that or you can turn it around like that all the way 360 degrees. Now they add another level adjustment with this over here. You just uh, loosen that up and you can tilt the head back or forward for whatever shot you really need. Now the magnetic connection is really good because it will help protect your phone from drops. Uh, so the most you're going to have to worry about is, is when you have it out to the max 64 inches right here is the weight difference. So holding this like this with that big old phone is a weight difference and some people aren't going to be able to do that of course just so you guys know. I mean honestly it does take a little bit to hold that little bit of weight out that far because it's a balancing trick. Now, some other cool things about this phone case is, and I'm going to show you guys this right here, is on the side it actually has these mounts. So you can actually add a keystone light or an external microphone like your Rode mics and stuff to connect it up there. That's cool. And the magnetic connection is beautifully well done. And, and to be able to use it on non mag safe phones, I mean, is actually cool too to have that a little extra with it. So if you guys need Andoble, the Andoble Mag Stick. Nice little piece. And it's more than just a mag stick, selfie stick. It's also a tripod. So cool, cool piece. I believe next up is an actual Tater Nate video. I believe it's the Fantech, uh, Fantech screwdriver kit that I actually think is really cool. It's a bigger kit than the one I have. Uh, let's see here. Let's grab that. Let's show you guys this. Yep, it's a Nate video. Nate video. Today we're going to be talking about this. Well, that's going. I'm picking my mess up real quick. Max.
electric precision screwdriver set. This thing is gonna be so handy and so useful for people that work on computers or just anything along those lines. There so we just go. taking a look at the branding and everything going on it, you have this really nice kind of like space gray aluminum casing on this. Now you oh, hey, have fun bowling, buddy. Have fun with the family. Tell the kids hi and all that other stuff. You can see that it's uh, make sure that they uh, beat you. So the way You're not allowed to win, Phil. You You're not allowed to win. Down right up here on top you have to make sure the kids know they're better uh, housing so whenever we press down you're going to see that it releases not only the actual screwdriver <laughs> but it also releases the bit set so just one more time to show you guys that's me that's me press down right up here on top now the screwdriver itself, have fun buddy have fun easy to use too this is a magnetic bit right here you're going to have your uh, forward and reverse, and then you're going to have a few different settings on here. So you're going to have lock mode right here. So if you want to keep this on lock, it's going to kill the motor, so you can use this as a manual electric precision set. It'll and if you want to go to a high torque feature, you can do that. And then if you switch it over to L, that is going to be lower uh, lower torque. So now, like I said, this is very well made. This is going to have an aluminum housing all the way around it. Just taking a. I like that this has more bits than the one I have. And now going back to the housing for this, you don't I wish it was wireless charging though. You can just push that like that. I really do wish it was wireless charging. All of your different bits, just like that. So you can really choose whatever one. Want, you want this kit? They do appear to be a little bit tricky to get out whenever you're actually taking one of the bits out, but they're all magnetic and there's no real clips or anything like that on the inside. I need this so kit, Justin. I don't know why. <laughs> And when you're done with that and you're working, you can just press this back down. Now we'll go ahead and just show you guys uh, that this is magnetic. So you can just drop that in. It's not going to fall out. You are going to have a light right here. So whenever you're using this, um, you can see what you're doing. Oh, man, it's got a light too. Mine didn't got no light. Like I was showing you guys just a second ago, is simply just press this back in. Figure out where it is you took that bit from. And I think I took... So guys, this is the NEX E1 screwdriver. It is great. You'll get about 400 screws on a charge, so you have all that. You have all the heads that you could really need to tear apart a server rack, a PC, a laptop, pretty much any electronics on hand. If you guys have ever attempted to tear apart electronics, you do know that having an electronic screwdriver will actually save your hands a lot of cramping and a lot of time. You don't have to worry about it. Now the bits are magnetic. The screwdriver just clicks in like a regular screwdriver bit. Then you have the magnetic tip. Now this one actually has, I, re, I believe it has a, a magnet to help remagnetize your tips in it. At least that's what Nate said. Uh, I've never seen one of those in a kit like that. So that's really cool. Um, but if you guys need Fantech, Fantech makes a great, great product. Now, I believe we're going to show you guys, this is the Anchor Maker 3D printer. See, that here is did. the Anchor Make M5 3D printer. I've been 3D printing for a while, and I wanted to go ahead and jump in and tell you my favorite things about this printer right here. So first of all, this is made by Anchor, which is a phenomenal company. They've made a ton of my favorite products in the past. They have Eufy and Soundcore that fall underneath them, and they did not miss whenever it comes to this. So first of all, let's go ahead and talk about some of the key features on this 3D printer and why I think this might be yeah, a I think that needs updated, printer. First Justin. of all, this is going to be a completely <laughs> auto leveling printer. That means it is going to be completely automatic whenever you have to level the bed, which isn't actually Look leveling the bed left and moves. right like this or on an axis. It's measuring the distance between the nozzle, which is where the filament comes out from, and the bed, which is where the filament lays down on. So being that this is auto leveling, I wanted to tell you that it does create a mesh system using a 25 point auto leveling system. All of this is super easily controlled directly through this huge touchscreen interface that makes it very easy to operate, get set up, change filament, change the nozzle if you ever have to. This touchscreen is awesome and I've had zero issues with it. So I do have to complain about one thing, being that this prints at 250 millimeters a second, uh, it is a bit noisy and that's the only downfall. Now I have to give it the benefit of the doubt. In order for this to be able to print at 250 millimeters a second, that filament that's being oh, laid down on the print uh, surface is he still needs to be petty cooled officer? quick enough so the fans are very I loud thought he ranked up. and the axis movement on the Could Y and X axis. I, it I is a little bit loud, but it's nothing too crazy. No, I knew the One rest of my was favorite correct. things about this printer is this guy right here, which is a built-in AI camera. So okay, whenever okay. it's first starting your 3D print or so it's going through the, the motions of creating a time lapse, it'll all automatically be synced to the cloud, which you can download directly to your phone through the Anchor Make app, which just makes this a step above the rest in other 3D printers, being that this is so easily controlled Dude, directly through your smartphone or on your computer really makes this stand out.
And here is that auto created time lapse that you can view and download directly to your phone. Now, I did have to slow this time lapse down because this was actually a 48 minute print that ended up taking a time lapse total of only three seconds. So, in order for me to be able to show you that time lapse, I really had to slow it down. Now we'll go ahead and talk about the build quality of the Anchor Make M5. Everything on this is an all aluminum housing, which means that it's going to hold up well over time. I do recommend having this on a stable surface just because it's moving so fast that if you have well, an unstable desk fly. or a work area, it can tend to shake the desk a lot. And I definitely don't recommend. Now, as you guys see, this is a super agile and fast printer. Now, the Anchor Maker from Anchor is a beautiful, beautiful piece, guys. Now, like he's telling you guys, though, it is a little louder than some other printers, and that's because of the speed it moves at. Now, he's actually been using this quite a lot, and this thing does beautiful prints uh, with that, guys. In the first layer adhesion and the actual bed itself can actually pop up. It's magnetically popped. So when it pops up, it will break your piece loose. Uh, and as you guys see, he just did a little purple onyx right here, and it did a well job. Now, there are a couple little hairs and that's bound to happen on most prints with that, uh, with going on with prints. You just clean it up a little, guys, and you'll be fine. Now, with that, you'll see that he had about 52 minutes to that print to do that little print, which would normally be a couple hours or more with it. Uh, beautifully done. Now, you can pretty much use most uh, filaments on the market right there if you need. Uh, it does have a holder up top. This is all aluminum uh, design, so you don't have to worry about that also. Guys, the Anchor Make M5 3D printer might be an option for you guys. Check it out. You won't be disappointed. Now, we're going to show you guys the Similio full-size mattress that Nate thinks he's me in. That's right. So, taking a page out of the Dragon Blogger James book, I just wanted to kind of lay down on this mattress. Whenever I this guy. To sleep this, on this guy. Morning, I sleep straight through. I don't find myself tossing and turning, but that's going to be a little bit different depending like I said before, on what kind of mattress you like. If you like a plush, very soft, almost kind of sinks in mattress, this is not gonna be the one for you. But if you do like a mattress that has a little bit more firmness to it, but is also soft whenever you first lay down on it, this mattress is definitely something you guys need to check out. I really do like sleeping on this mattress because it does do a good job supporting my hips and my back. I'm a side sleeper and I think this is going to be really good for those. Now I have to point out guys, he sleeps on this mattress without a sheet, out pillows, and that's because his wife doesn't give him those things when he's in trouble. So just remember that when you're in trouble, his wife does not give you blankets or sheets you or pillows. Also sleep on your side. So if you're looking for a very comfortable, easy to unbox and very cool at night mattress, definitely check this one out from Somelio. I'm Nate with Dragon Blogger. Now that's the Somelio, guys. That's the 10 inch. Now we're showing you guys the smaller version. There is a queen, there is a king, and there's a twin XL. Now the cool part is, is a multi-layer design. So you do have individually wrapped coils on the bottom. You then have the memory foam on top. Now the cool part is, is when you get this, it is fully encapsulated and vacuum sealed shut and wrapped up in a box. Uh, so with that guys, you literally get it home, you'll unwrap it, let it sit 24 to 48 hours before you start using it and you're good to go. Uh, no problem for me. <laughs> Oh, it's not a problem for me either. I don't even sleep with blankets, so totally fine on my end. Now, we're going to pop over. We're going to show you guys a Spa Latique's bath set. This is a cool little set. Here's another product. That's a Nikita video. I'm super excited to show you guys. I Nikita. I lavender or scented or related, so this is something that I'm super excited for. And um, I'm going to. Sorry, my dog is acting up. I do. I, I. But I absolutely I, love it. This is. Uh, Costi, I randomly sleep on the floor. Uh, I will sleep in the weirdest, weirdest positions. Like some nights, I'll fall asleep over here on the couch, in the one cushion, and my feet hanging off of the couch uh, over the arm, the armrest. Uh, my wife is like, she she laughs about it. Or I'll I'll sit down and cross my legs, and I'll end up sleeping like that too the Spa Luxtique 15 piece set and it comes with all the stuff that you need to have your own at home spa whether it's you know at your own place or you take it with you on vacation or something it's just going to be great for all purposes so I'm going to show you everything that comes with it and you can decide if it's something that you might want to pick up so everything's wrapped up kind of nicely 
This is their shower gel, so that's something that's really cool. And and one thing that you do get from when you open this, you smell the lavender everything immediately. It comes with also two bath bombs that are lavender scented. I'm gonna keep these wrapped up so they don't you know corrode or erode away. Let's see, it also comes with. I believe this is okay. It comes with a nice lavender scented bar of soap, and I love the accents of everything. This is very shiny gold. I mean, it just adds to the effect of, you know, the luxury. Now with this, guys, you get multiple pieces from bath bombs to bath salts to bath gels. You also get a cool little loofah. You also get a scrub brush to get those little uh, bits of skin off of you. Now you also get massage oils uh, and multiple other pieces. Now, this is the lavender set. Now they also offer a full range from vanilla to Tahiti. Uh, to, I believe, coconuts and some other scents with that, even a pineapple one. I believe the pineapple one's like a Tahiti. Now, that's the scrub brush. I actually like the scrub brush so much that I took it out of the kit and took it away from my wife. Uh, so she doesn't have access to that no more. Plus, you get this carrying bag. Now, the carrying bag's cool because you can use it for more than what it just came in. You can use it for, like, throwing a towel in, taking it to the beach, or anything and anything in between. Now, there's your bath salts. It only takes a little bit. Now, the one thing I will tell you about these kits, though, guys, is some of them, some of them, the scents are semi-strong. The other ones are not overpowering. I think the Tahiti scent is my favorite uh, with the one, but the lavender is pretty good, too. Uh, the rose scent's good. Uh, the vanilla, guys, there's so many scents, so many different styles of these. Now, this is the bigger kit. They do offer smaller kits as well. Uh, they do have bath bars with this and all types of other stuff. Now look here, here. You guys want some of this right there, huh? Huh? Body lotions, body butters, anything and everything you think of, they make. If you guys need a bath set, Spa Latiques, guys. And actually not a bad price for that big of a kit. Now we're going to show you this very cool, awesome, uh, kooky the aromatherapy awesome kooky, uh, essential diffuser. Um, it's an aroma humidifier. Oh, this isn't the cube. I thought this was the cube one. Um, it also it's not the cube, man. With, um, Echo and Google Home. So that makes me excited because I do have a Google Home that I can use this with. So I'm going to open it, let you see what's inside of it, set it up and everything, and then let you guys know about the features and the stuff that come with it. So I'm excited about this. Um, so just from the uh -huh. start, it has like a little quick start guide. And then, of course, the actual diffuser. Itself. You did? Let me get that out. Make sure I don't drop it. Is that the A pier? A pier? I'm going to turn it to the side so I make sure I don't drop it. Oh, okay. I like the fact that it has this little... So, um, I'm going to actually tell you something, Justin. Uh, usually before I'd have to back out of the carousel to actually see it pop up, the new update, it automatically just swapped it out and I can see it right in the carousel in the app. That's kind of cool. And it gives it a really nice aesthetic. Actually, yep, dynamically updated this. Um, That's kind of cool. I was not expecting that. Um, it has buttons at the bottom for the light, um, high and low. That's kind of cool. Wi-Fi. Um, so I don't really know what all the features are. Um, it has this inside of it. This looks like to be the charging cord for it. So to plug it up. Oh, it has like a nice little, um, th this is what you can use to pour like the water in it. And it, it, it lets you <laughs> He's all excited about the measuring cup. That's really cool. So this like, oh. is everything that comes with it. Um, let me move the guide over here so you guys can see it. So this is everything. Um, it has the... Now with this, guys, you have the diffuser. The diffuser is actually light up and will light up into multi-colors. And since it's a Wi-Fi essential oil diffuser, you can actually do the app. The app will allow you to change the colorations to whatever you want. Now you guys can see you don't need the app. You just hit the buttons on the front and it will automatically just choose through that. But with the app, it will allow you to pick out the coloration you want and stop there as you need or do other patterns as needed with it. Now, as you guys see, the essential oil is now blowing out the front, as you would expect. You will literally throw water in this and then grab whatever essential oil you like from, like, let's say, frankincense uh, to, uh, I believe, uh, my favorite, cinnamon extract. Uh, you can put that in there. Or you can put lavender drops in there. Pretty much anything and everything you think about, you can do that. Even eucalyptus essential uh, each one will calm someone in a different way or give them a little different of a uh, hint of a smell and change their feelings. That's how they work. They are actually beautifully well done. And as you guys see, colorations are beautiful with this. 
Now this is the round version from Asakuki. They also have this very cool cubed version. And I believe the cube to me is the, my favorite so far of the ones I've seen. Hey Chucky, how you doing buddy? What's up my dude? Now we have one last product in the cart and this is from APR, APR Pro Cordless RoboVac. Now we're gonna have this, we're gonna let the video play and I'm gonna talk about it as we go with this. Now the APR Cordless Vac is actually for your pools. This is a robot pool cleaner. Now this one actually has a $50 clippable coupon today, so just so you know. Now this is for good for pools approximately 60 feet uh, round or square. Uh, it does have 120 minute running time on a full charge. Now the cool thing about this one is, is it does have a filtration system and a bag setup with this, uh, if I remember correctly. But the one on the bottom of this device is the actual scrubbing brush on this. Now, some of the others I've seen that uh, Demetrius has done did not have the scrubbing brush like this one does. Uh, and you're gonna see that in a minute when he pulls it out here, which is kind of cool. Now, another cool thing is, is this one actually can actually climb walls uh, compared to other ones that can't actually do that curvature. This one will allow you to do that curvature climb, climb in the pool. I think that's cool. To be able to climb the pool a little bit, to clean it out is actually really, really nice. Now it takes about approximately two hours to get a full charge. Then you'll get the 120 minutes of running time. Uh, this is good for 1300 square feet or 60 foot pool, uh, which is actually a big size pool if you guys have one. Um, I wish I had a pool. Now there's your scrubbing brush. That brush is actually really cool will help you get all that, like if you have algae growing, maybe your pool's been sitting all winter, uh, you're going to do that first cleanup and you want it to scrub some algae, but you don't want to get in the pool yet, throw this little boy in there and let it do its job. Now, of course, 120 minutes, you have to bring it back home, then you have to empty it out. Now, he's showing you guys, he's going to pop it off. There is the filter bag that's going to hold all of the debris that it scrubs up. Now it's fully waterproof. You don't have to worry about that because it goes in the pool. You ain't got to worry. Look at that. Just look at it. This is kind of cool. I kind of like this one. Now I don't believe this video actually shows it in the pool. I can't remember, but let's jump forward. Let's see. Do we actually have it in the pool? Well, we don't. This video didn't actually have it in the pool, but... If you guys are looking for a pool cleaner, the APR Elite Pro is a good option. And it is a good price today. It does have a $50 clippable coupon for you. So if you're looking, check it out. You guys know pool weather's right here. It's around the corner. Uh, if you're in New England like I am, it's going to be almost 80 degrees next week, which is just crazy uh, for that to be that warm. So... That's the last product, guys. That is the last product of the day. Cool little bit of uh, information for all of you. Now, the question of the real day is, is what do I go on to do from here? Do I play some video games? Do I pick up this mess I made during stream? Or do I eat some food? It's a good problem to have, right? <laughs> Oh, I don't know. You guys are awful quiet now. Oh, 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 oh. We'll work sending the, the, the zombie, James. 79 one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking food, too. I'm starving. I'm actually hungry. <laughs> all right, guys. I want to thank you all for being here. Uh, tomorrow is Easter. I do not believe anybody's streaming on Easter. I do know most of us are doing family stuff for Easter. I don't know if the boss man has me streaming tomorrow. Um, I don't know. I didn't check. Uh, yeah. Hey, well, am I on the list tomorrow? <laughs> or is tomorrow a day off? That's a good question. <laughs> Uh, with that being said, I want to appreciate and thank all of you guys for being here. Honestly, without you guys, uh, we couldn't do what we do. We enjoy testing and playing with products and showing you guys products that we actually enjoy using. Uh, so I want to thank you all for that. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Um, 
you may or may not see me tomorrow. It is Easter. I don't know what my wife really has planned. So that is up in the air. Boss Man said it's up to me. I could have the day off if I want. So I'll let you guys know. You guys will know if I'm on in the morning or not. So I want to thank you guys all. I hope you guys have a great day. I will see you all later. Have a good one, everybody.